Hey, what is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech, and boy, have I got some interesting news for you. In this video, I'd like to share a tip that helped me avoid spending money on a brand new Google Chrome remote. A while back, my remote stopped being responsive. I tried completely replacing the batteries with new ones, but it still wasn't responding. I also tried putting the remote in pair mode by pressing and holding the back button and the home button, but that didn't do the trick. Finally, I was going to give in and buy a replacement remote, which wouldn't even be that pricey because Amazon sells them for under $25. And for a similar price, I could have gotten one with a number pad, which is perfect for IPTV. I'll leave the link in the description of the remotes I'm referring to. I was actually able to get my remote working again without having to buy a new one. I just performed a factory reset. I'll walk you through how that's done. The first thing you'll need to do is install the Google TV remote app on your phone or tablet. Ensure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi as your Chromecast. Open the App Store or Google Play Store on your phone. Download the Google TV app. Launch it and sign in if prompted. At the bottom right corner, tap on TV Nearby. It will scan and pick up all Chromecasts on your home network. If you have multiple Chromecasts, ensure you're selecting the correct one. Once you've selected it, a code will pop up on the TV that the Chromecast is connected to. Type the code into the blank input field that popped up on your phone. Once you've typed the entire code, tap pair. Then tap the remote control icon at the bottom right. This will give you a virtual remote that we'll be using later on. Now go to your physical remote control that you want to factory reset. Take out the batteries. Then, while holding the home button, put the batteries back in. Keep the home button down pressed until you see the light at the bottom of the remote start to pulsate. Let go of the home button. Now, on your phone, launch the Google TV Remote Control app. Use the virtual D-pad to navigate to settings on your TV's Chromecast. Once in settings, scroll down and click on Remotes and Accessories. Then, click on Pair an Accessory. When your Chromecast remote is located, click on it to pair it. If it pairs successfully, then congratulations, you're now able to use your remote once again to navigate Chromecast. If it doesn't successfully pair the first time, unplug your Chromecast from the wall, then plug it back in. When it boots up, redo the steps for factory resetting your Chromecast, and then it should successfully pair after that. If a factory reset didn't bring your Chromecast back to life, you can use the link in the description to purchase a replacement Chromecast remote, or better yet, an IPTV remote. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.